I'm Miriam Seidel, and I'm the guest curator of Criss Cross, Robin Horn and Brian Dickerson, a two-person show. Robin Horn is a wonderful sculptor in wood who's mainly known for work that kind of fools you into thinking it's a lot of pieces that are trying to stay upright, which are actually one piece. Brian Dickerson does what he calls constructed paintings, paintings that are forms made out of many different planes of wood. So they sort of hover between sculpture and painting. Robin Horn and Brian Dickerson share a deep commitment to wood as artistic material and a strongly developed, intuitive, process-based working method. But these two artists found their paths from different starting points. Dickerson from the language of abstract painting and Horn finding her way to wood sculpture from the world of wood-turned art. Could their artwork seen together illuminate the concerns that lie behind their work? The exhibition evolved into an artistic conversation as both artists made work over the past year that responded to what they saw in the other's artwork. Dickerson, whose constructed paintings include wood surfaces heavily painted and sanded and delicate wood structures in relief, created three-dimensional constructed sculptures for the first time. Horn, known for her spatially dynamic wood sculptures that play with weight and balance, has already experimented with painting on wood and even with painting on canvas. Her new work shows an openness to raw wood textures and the kind of interior facing structures Dickerson explores. The many interplays revealed here make for a jumping off point to consider the fluid boundaries between surface and color, painting and sculpture, craft and fine art. We invite you to enter this conversation. Robin Horn is an artist based in Arkansas. Her art practice began as part of the growing wood turning movement. This exhibit shows the range of her experimentation with texture, surface, paint, and even found metal objects.
Brian Dickerson lives in upstate New York after being in Philadelphia for many years. He makes his constructed paintings out of wood, layering paint and wood scraps in ways that suggest landscape, old buildings, or even archaeological digs. His work is in the abstract painting tradition, but also reveals a sensitivity to nature, bringing together elements to create a feeling state that can seem like weather. I approached both of the artists who did not know each other, they live far apart, and explained the idea of the show. After looking at each other's work online, they were both very excited. So we then had a three-way conference call where we talked about how we saw things happening, and that was a year before the show. I was delighted to find that both Robin and Brian had committed to joining this as an experiment. They kept each other's work in mind as they were working over the past year. And honestly, I can't think of another show like that. I've heard of artists collaborating, but never working side by side, keeping each other's work in mind. So it's to me a really intriguing and surprising and thought-provoking show.